Here's the sandwich that I made with that Provel clone cheese. I'm going to use some store-bought garlic butter spread that I picked up at uh, the grocery store. I'm just going to spread a good layer of this over uh, one slice of the French bread. Or Italian bread, I think this was. It's a, it was a big loaf. I'm going to add some ham. Just You can just use your favorite ham. This is a, uh, a ham that I like from the deli. It's a, an applewood smoked deli ham, which is really good. Now this is going to make a sandwich for, this will be for like two people. And... I'm, I'm going to make another one over here. So this is two adults and one teenager. Because that, this has quite a bit of ham. And then you're, as you'll see here in a second, I'm going to pile on the cheese. So that right there will be uh, a, an open face sandwich for two people. Okay, now comes the Provel. There it is. It that's it's some pretty good cheese. I, like I said in the the video making it, it's it's a very interesting cheese. It melts really good. It's it get you know nice and gooey and has a good flavor. It's really really interesting. You get a little bit of a tang from the Monterey Jack, and then just that that gooey melting of the American cheese, and then that little hint of the liquid smoke. It's really good stuff. So you want to put on a whole bunch of this stuff. I'm going to do that one, the second sandwich after this. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to that other slice of bread. Okay, lastly, you want to sprinkle on some paprika. I, I like this uh, Hungarian sweet paprika. You could use whatever you want. If you want, you could use smoked paprika. I guess you could use chili powder or, or some other seasoning if you wanted, but I wanted to try to make this the way the authentic recipe calls for for, for the Gerber sandwich from St. Louis, so I'm using just paprika. Okay, let's finish this other one up. There we go. Now I preheated the oven to 350 and then I uh, let that go in the oven for about 15 minutes on 350 really just just enough to kind of warm the sandwich warm the bread and melt the cheese and there you go look at it look at that oozing cheese just add some chips and definitely some pickles and I love these they're called wickles they go wicked pickles they're a spicy, they're a sweet and spicy pickle. I highly recommend them. They are really good. There you go.